So I thought I would do a lesson on how you can use modes to write black metal riffs. And we're going to start with the Phrygian mode. So to explain what the Phrygian mode is, we're going to take the key of F major, because this song is in the key of A Phrygian, but that A Phrygian scale comes from the F major scale. So here is the F major scale. So we're going to play F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Okay, so that's the F major scale. Now, if we start that note, instead of on the F, we're going to start here on the A. That would be the A Phrygian. And that is just the third mode within the F major scale. So again, it's the same notes, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. But we're just starting on that third note. And we're going to play it here because it's easier playing it here than playing it here and starting with your little finger. So these are the notes. On the bottom E string, we're going to play five, six, eight. On the A string, we're going to play five, seven, eight. And then on the D string, we're going to play five, seven. And then we're back to the A, which is the root note. Okay, so those are the notes in the A Phrygian mode. So, it's got a unique sort of sound, quite a minor or an exotic sound. But it does sound like it resolves and ends here on the A note, which is on the fifth fret here of the E. So, what I've done here with these chords, I've just played, so A is the first chord in that sequence. Okay, so we're starting with an A, and then I'm just bringing the pinky down here for a minor sixth, and that note is in that scale. Okay, so we've got... Then I'm going to copy that exact same thing up on the 10th fret. And those notes are also in that scale. So the D and the B flat. Okay. Then I've got this, which is six on the bottom string, 10 on the A, and then coming down to six on the bottom string and eight on the A. Then I'm going to play this note again, or this interval, so five on the bottom string, eight on the A, then a regular power chord on five, and then a power chord on one, and three on the bottom string. So that whole riff, All of those notes, all of those intervals are in the A Phrygian and then it sounds like it needs to come back up to here for it to finish. And then it sounds like it's finished. So that's the first riff and as you can see that is in that scale, all those notes are in that scale. Okay, second riff I'm trying to remember what I did now. Um, oh yeah. So 
So again, this time I'm just picking single notes. So that's the root note of the, of the Phrygian mode. Again there, that's just a power chord, but played individual note. Then F, here on the eighth of the A, and the middle finger is playing that sixth note on the bottom string to give it the um, B flat chord. Then play the same thing. Then just power chords, fret five, which is an A, down to G. Then I'm just bringing the little finger down onto the sixth fret of the bottom string to give you the six on there and the five on the A. Then we're going to repeat that first bit. Then this riff is the same. And then we've got this interval again. So six on the bottom string, 10 on the A, down to eight of the A. So that was that riff. And then I just did a little sort of trilling thing. And all I'm doing there is just playing power chords. A. Then I'm playing an E third, so the third, sorry, the second fret of the D and the open G. First fret on the A, power chord. And then open A, power chord. Okay, the other guitar, we're just playing an A power chord here on fret. Seven of the D, uh, yeah. Then the E here, nine of the G, and eight of the B. Sliding that down two frets, so we've got seven of the G and six of the B. And then back to that power chord. Sorry, not that power chord, that power chord. And that is where the song ends, on that A note. So that's kind of what distinguishes it from playing in F. Is that we start on that note, we end on that note, and all of the riffs are based around... ...the A. And that is why it's in Phrygian. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, make sure you give me a little like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.